Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. No problem. Saturday, July 20th. See you there, buddy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. All right, y'all, so today I have some very, very shocking news for you. So if you didn't know, because a lot of people didn't know, Jake Paul, about a little bit over a week ago, had a fight against a guy named Ryan Borland. Now, this fight, as you would expect, went in true Jake Paul fashion because he won this fight by TKO at the end of the first round, boosting Jake Paul's record to nine wins and one loss. If you didn't hear about this fight and you just pretty much had no idea it went down, like I said, you're not alone. There wasn't too much hype or build up leading to this fight. And there wasn't too much going on with the press conferences. No viral moments or nothing like that. Honestly, those press conferences were pretty cringe. Fourth, no love lost here between these two. Cruiserweight fight. Once again, Jake Paul has someone's hat. Like, what is the rhino? Like, how did you come up with that nickname? My grandpa gave it to me when I was younger. Are you vegan? I'm sick and tired of these dumbass rhinos walking around this motherfucking island. Tomorrow, the rhinos are going extinct. I promise you that. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot this fight was even happening myself. The only reason I remembered is because somebody reminded me. But like usual, Jake Paul was getting pretty heavily criticized by pretty much everybody because of his choice of opponent. Which makes sense because Ryan Borland, aka The Rhino, is a 35 year old man who has retired from boxing to work at an oil rig and has had one fight in the past six years. And for those of you who might not know this, when it comes to combat sports, activity is key. So when you go years and years and years without fighting like that, you're not going to be that same fighter that used to be. Now, this Ryan Borland guy probably was a decent boxer. I mean, he was 17-2 and two before this fight with Jake Paul. But again, he hasn't really fought a lot in the past six years. And you can see that from the fight with Jake Paul because he was kind of turning away from punches and all types of stuff like that, right? And this just adds yet another name to the list of elderly fighters that Jake Paul has fought. And like I said in my video about why no one respects YouTube, boxing no one will ever take jake paul serious if he continues to fight the people that he fights and sure he is fighting real fighters whether they're old retired ufc fighters or old retired boxers these are genuine fighters with lots of experience under their belts and a lot of them were even champion level fighters guys like nate diaz tyron woodley ben Askren. these were champion level guys in mma anderson silva as well right even this andre august guy and ryan borland they were both golden gloves champions but pretty much every Everybody Jake Paul fights for some reason is at least 35 or older and has been retired for like a number of years. Nate Diaz is 38. Tyron Willie was 37 or 38 at the time of their fight. Ben Askren was about 35 at the time of their fight. And Anderson Silva is literally pushing 50. And then there was Nate Robinson, which let's just not even get started on that disappointment in his shortcomings. Get it? Because he's short, you, you know, shortcomings. You know, I'll be here all night. I do live here, but I'll be here all night. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Worthless, bitch ass nigga. But seriously, Jay Paul has not fought the best competition to start off his boxing career. But apparently, in a sudden twist, in a sudden shock of events, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are going to be fighting on July 20th, and it will be streamed on Netflix. And I'm not gonna lie, I would get on Jake Paul's head top and roast him for fighting yet another old retired boxer who's literally pushing 60. But this is much, much different. This is Mike Tyson, bro. <laughs> like, Iron Mike Tyson. This same guy whose punch has a power of 1600 joules which i'm not gonna lie i don't know what the fuck a joule is but it apparently feels like being shot by 13 people using a 22 caliber pistol <laughs> And it is over a thousand pounds of force. And now, yes, Mike Tyson is a little older. Like I said, he's literally pushing 60 years old. Like, bro is damn near senior citizen status, about to be collecting his weekly social security checks. But for all the people who have seen Mike Tyson train these past few years, you would know that it's, it is still a pretty brave feat for any man to dare step in the ring with this man, no matter how old he is. Now, obviously, Mike Tyson, you know, he's a lot older. He's not in his prime anymore 
anymore. You know, it's not the 90s. He probably lost a little speed, a little power, whatever, right? But all I'm saying is this. I would never want to be this nigga's pad older, no matter how old he is. Like, bro, I know this guy has the fear of God in him, praying that Mike Tyson doesn't accidentally miss and send him to the shadow realm. And while I can't respect Jay Paul for getting in the ring with Mike Tyson, this fight to me almost seems kind of like gimmicky. Damn, is gimmicky even a word? Hold on. Yes. B but seriously, this fight seems kind of like one big gimmick to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? It will definitely have lots of hype behind it, lots of buildup, and it will definitely make a lot of money for both fighters and pretty much everybody involved. But but like this is gonna be streamed on Netflix. Like this just seems like some kind of weird boxing kid-friendly Netflix special, more than like an actual serious showdown between two boxers. And we gotta remember this too. Jake Paul wants to be taken serious as a boxer. He wants to be respected as a boxer. That's what he calls himself now. He doesn't even call himself a YouTuber anymore. He is just a straight boxer now, right? And he even said that he wants to be world champion one day. And to me, it's just like, bro, if that's really what you want, you got to stop fighting these senior citizens, man. I mean, this is elderly abuse at this point. I mean, that beatdown he put on Nate Robinson has to be studied because that had to be racially motivated. But seriously, these gimmicky fights, fighting old retired fighters, fighting people who've never boxed in their life like Nate Robinson. It has to stop if Jake Paul wants the respect that he thinks he deserves as a boxer. And I'm not saying Jake Paul gotta fight the best boxers out there. Because he doesn't. He just started boxing. He's new to it. But what I am saying is that bro could at least fight somebody who's near his age, bro. <laughs> Like, bro, he is 27. Is it too much to ask for him to fight somebody else who's also in their mid-20s? Somebody else who's 25, 26, 27? Like, why you want to fight a dude that's 58? <laughs> like, when you 27, bro, like, what? I'm sure there are plenty of bosses out there who are young and inexperienced just like him that he could fight. And it doesn't matter if they have clout or money or they're well-known or not because his last two opponents, Andre August and Ryan Borland, were basically unknown within the boxing world. And he had no problem fighting fighting them and building up the hype to these fights and whatever, right? So all in all, this fight is actually happening. I, I never thought I'd live in a world where Jake Paul would fight Mike Tyson, but it's a thing now. And for you, Jake Paul, just please pick on somebody your own age, bro. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. How do y'all feel about this fight going down? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on post notifications, share this video on the road to 1500 subscribers. Like and sub us so we can get there. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing. I'm out though. Catch you guys next time.